Welcome to Art Lounge powered by Veenaburger India. Art Lounge is an initiative by Veenaburger India that serves as a forum for leading architects to exchange notes and share ideas. The platform would act as a catalyst to bring about a change in the way we build our homes and promote the concept of sustainable living spaces. The online format of Art Lounge is a series which endeavors to reach a wider audience with a range of topics in sustainability, design trends and green building materials. spanning wall roof and facade applications we hope this series helps our audience gain insights on the latest trends learn about how to build with green materials and derive design inspiration from projects showcased across by our eminent guests our first guest on art lounge is architect prithima sitthur prithima sitthur was born in chikmagalur karnataka and graduated in architecture from ms ramaya institute of technology in 1999 greatly inspired by the works of frank lloyd wright prithima founded her own firm called wright and spires her style has largely been inclined towards building spaces closer to nature most of her designs lay a strong emphasis on an organic approach accentuating the use of natural elements and materials she is driven by a passion to create and realize more built forms with a futuristic approach it's a pleasure to have you with us prithima welcome let me start off with the question um as an architect what role does green green building materials play in your work you have today in the building industry is very tempting and uh, each one puts up these architectural uh, structures for their own status and pride be it at individual level or at institutional level so they get kind of get lost in between to you know uh, highlight on the richness of the uh, structure maybe and there are some misconception till date because i don't know when it started but uh, somehow uh, green buildings working with these natural materials are considered when you expose them it's considered as low cost or cost effective construction which is uh, uh, why you do not see many people uh, uh, changing over but i am very glad to see that now as you said people are wanting this change they want to explore these materials and they want to be responsible of what decisions they make great um so yes so there's a, there's a lot of buzz going on in the architectural space that you know people are sort of looking at alternative um uh, you know sort of design and materials uh, considering that health and wellness is uh, yeah. you know given so much importance now right um, yeah. and of course the way we work the way we live is also undergoing a lot of changes yes. so in your yes. practice you must have come across these changes uh, so what are the significant trends that you are seeing in this space Uh, we have uh, stuck to this principle of building the way we are building from past 20 years and uh, believe me the covid times uh, hasn't put us into that mindset where one sat and wondered oh do we have to change did we do something wrong all these years I was overwhelmed by uh, when my clients called uh, to say that you know we because they never had the time to enjoy the spaces that we built for them so right. uh now is the time with them and slow down and they they sat back and uh, looked around and they are highly appreciative of the spaces that we have created for them so uh so you you have worked on several projects um, all over karnataka I and mean, you would have some favorite projects some some um you know uh, specific uh probably challenges that you have um, come across so would you like to share some of these uh, projects and um you know um uh, something that is close to your heart i think it would be really nice to see them yeah i i have put a few slides together um which no. is in relevance with the context that we are talking about i would love yes. to share a couple of works put up uh, slides from various projects which we have done in different timelines so most of the Lights you see would be where we have got light in, or you know where we have worked with natural materials, where we have greenery, and so on and so such. I shall go through the slides. This is all about clean air. So the clean air, unfortunately, we are losing on the quality of air in today's life. 
and each one of us are responsible for the air uh, water soil to keep them clean each one of us have a big responsibility and uh, it is very important that we keep our exterior and interior of the home you know cleaner here you see the terracotta used in the roof there is absolutely no concrete or steel in this uh, roof and the terracotta is also used in the walls with those allowing for the light to come in uh, this is a wienerberger product which we used uh, when they initially launched which, uh, emphasized or uh, which you know created that uh, character for the facade uh, of a manufacturing company and the beauty was we could fuse the uh, terracotta with the greenery and again helps in creating that microclimate for the whole space the whole manufacturing facility was naturally ventilated uh, as you see in these pictures even the conference hall to cover the uh, the terracotta uh, walls is uh, um, the partition material which works very good in terms of the acoustics there is a lot of light that comes in and the terracotta jalis uh, work very good if you are seeing in, in little strips the jalis uh, work very good to uh, take away the hot air from the manufacturing facilities this is again the terracotta wall being in the interior of the home with the terracotta ceiling it cools down the place so well it just keeps the uh, internal space as though it is air conditioned and it is so nice to material the touch and feel of the material is so good wow i think this is very very inspiring uh, pratima uh, but clay as a building material has been used over the years across the world very epic uh, you know large you know landmark buildings in this world have been uh, using clay as a building material so it'll be very nice to understand what clay as a building material means to you because your projects have primarily used um, you know clay to me clay is versatile versatile uh, i was inspired uh, lucky to uh, have met uh, architect uh, chitra vishwanath architect jay se much earlier in life who introduced me to this kind of ecological architecture clay being so light uses the least amount of material to give us the same strength as any other uh, in fact it can give strength as much as concrete in many uh, places where i have shown you we the roofs with just clay and no concrete and no steel and the beauty here is it uses less material soil is abundant uh, raw material for us so it doesn't make me feel too guilty when i use the material uh, when i take the material from earth and start using on my buildings and uh, hollow they are lightweight they are good insulation in terms of heat insulation acoustic insulation they are red they are warm they are trendy they are fashionable and um, yeah which is why we use them in all elements uh, of our uh, things perfect all right so any closing remarks uh, you would like to sort of uh, leave with in terms of uh, you know that that sustainability uh, what is the future of sustainability of green building materials clean air clean water clean soil these are the three, three things that human kind today cannot escape from we need to make sure that every action of uh, ours uh, is going back to see to it that we are good we are keeping our soil our water our air clean so we cannot afford to pollute any more so it is it is each one's responsibility to think of, of contribute and to make it a lifestyle you, it is it's high time that we make sustainability a lifestyle if you see indian practices we have always lived in the most sustainable way uh, most of our lifestyles in the traditional practices have always been very sustainable and i think we have to go back to that yes we technology is required today but not to an extent where we use technology to measure the air that we breathe to measure the quality of air we do not need the air purifiers we do not need the air index to measure the quality of air we have a five senses which we can relate to so in a similar way we have a responsibility to keep water in our uh, lakes to rivers to everywhere clean we need to figure out a way uh, pumping water from uh, rivers which are far away is not the solution we need to figure out a way 
where we harvest the rainwater that is on our own rooftop and utilize that water so sustainability should become a trend should become a, a fashionable practice we need a lot of uh, practitioners a lot of architects thinkers designers to start following green practices and to to introduce it to the masses so that it just becomes a lifestyle a way of life it is the, we do not have any more time to think that and stay far away from this kind of a practice absolutely i mean that was very nicely uh, put across that you know it has to start from an individual yeah. uh, we cannot wait for someone to sort of you know uh, clean the air or clean clean everything uh, around us yes. and um, and yes of course it's about living the healthy life it's about choosing the right thing uh, yeah. when we can choose the right food the organic food um, i think choosing what you build your home with is yeah i mean it's not equally very very important right because it's 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 for a very very long time and for future generations Yeah. I think that that's a very important point that you have touched upon and um that was great thank you so much